Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Green Flash Brewing's Imperial India Pale Ale. This is a double. It is an American Double Imperial IPA coming in at 9.4 ABV. Uh, 22 ounce bomber here, so this is the big boy here. 9.40, so that's going to be enough to get you there. At least to get you started. Kick started anyway. <laughs> The, uh, the beer is brewed by Green Flash Brewing out of California. Uh, this is going to be a pretty good representation of the West Coast style IPA or double IPA. Uh, food pairing for this cuisine is barbecue, the cheeses, the peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, all your stronger cheeses, uh, lemon burger, uh, gorgonzola. Uh, the meat is game, grilled meat, all your spicier dishes, uh, the red meats, uh, stews, uh, Tacos, uh, all the spicy stuff will go well with this. Uh, the glass bar today, we're going to use a duvel. If you use a sniffer, the tulip, or a size wine glass, just pour it into something. Uh, these these kind of glasses uh, enhance the aromas, so that's why we use these glasses. In case you didn't know, a little Wi Fi. <laughs> that's what we call it for your information. Uh, Beer can be selling for a little while, but it's an Imperial IPA. The longer you sell it, the more that's going to lose its hoppiness. So, just bear that in mind. It's 9.4. It's not going to go bad. You'll, it'll just be a little less hoppy. So, I'm going to cap off this puppy. This is the first bomber from them that I've had. I've had the, uh, the, the, uh, the West Coast IPA and the uh, Hophead Red and their Double Stout. So this is the first big bottle from them that I purchased. So. Wow, I'm getting a citrusy smell already from here. The beer, yes, the beer is a uh, light orangey, tangerine colored. With the aggressive pour, I got a nice finger of head there. Now, doesn't that look wonderful? Look at that. I mean, it, that could not be a better looking glass of beer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, as far as appearance, that would be a 10. If you were taking a picture of a glass of uh, IPA, Imperial IPA, that's exactly what it should look like in my book. So as far as appearance, it's a 10 right there on appearance, but we ain't got to the taste yet, so let's see where that goes. Uh, very pleasant looking beer. It's right orangey. Cloudy. I don't think it's just a chill haze. Uh, it's a cloudy looking beer. Get a nose on it. Oh yeah. It pops out the wazoo. It's, uh, it's a West Coast style. It's uh, citrusy, piney. Wonderful. 9.42. Wow. It's got a monster hot presence. It is super hoppy. And I'm a, I'm a big hot pea because I'm growing it out back. I think everybody knows that. So I'm getting cones on there. Uh, I've already got cones probably about an inch and a quarter. We'll be doing a video this week. Uh, it'll probably be on my other channel, Mr. Greg Bucket's channel. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be posting what the, what the hops look like. So stay tuned for that. It'll be on the other channel, guys. In case anybody doesn't know, Mr. Greg Bucket. It's on the other channel. That's my original channel. That's where I do my crazy stuff at sometimes. So. This channel is always, people want me to chug beers, I don't do that on this channel. Uh, we, it might get to the point where I'll, I'll review some macro lagers like Budweiser and stuff, but you probably really don't want me to because if that's what you drink, and I used to drink it, uh, I'm going to hurt your feelings because uh, most of those are down below four, so sorry guys. That being said, this smells so wonderful, I've been flapping my gums. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. That is wonderful. Oh, yes. I wouldn't choose this for the first beer of the evening normally. Because it's a little on the heavier side. But if I had a but if I had a beer before this or two and wanted to cap it off with this and and, uh, and I'm going to share the rest of it. I'm not going to drink any more of that. Uh, what I've got in the glasses I'm going to drink because I'm done with this now. I'm with 10%. I'm going to share that. I think the other half would probably like that. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great beer. I mean it, it really is a great beer. It's a it's so close to the 10 that it's, it's liable to win me over by the time I finish the glass. So uh, It's got all the taste that you're wanting as far as a West Coast style with the hoppiness. The alcohol is almost 10%. It tastes like an 8%, maybe a 7.5. Very well hidden. It's there, but it'll get you in trouble. Drink this one at home. Almost 10%. That's a big bottle, guys. So. That's a tasty beer. Though. I'm glad I'm at home. I'm going to go check it out and... See if it's, uh, it's going to get a 10 or a 9 and share the other half of this bottle, guys. Stick around. I'll be back in about two seconds. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I've got just a little left in the glass. This is a very impressive beer. I mean, uh, to be all honest with everybody, it's probably a 10 beer, but it's not going to get the scale. And you know why? Because it's an IPA and it don't have a date on the damn bottle. So... Come on, man. Come on. Give me a break. If I could reach you, I'd slap you. Follow each other. Wow. It is a superb representation of the West Coast double IPA. Green Flash. You got it going on. We need some info on the bottle. You got a 10 beer here. I'm not going to give it to 10. It's going to get to 9. Because there's no date on the bottle. Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. Put a date on the bottle. It's an IPA. It's not a stout. It's not a porter. It's, you know, it will keep. It's 9%. But the hoppiness is going to go away. I want something. If it's hoppy, I want it fresh. Put a date on the bottle. You'll get a 10. So that's all i got to say about that, guys. Great Beer has 99 overall and a 96 in the style. Good marks there. Give me a date, guys. Come on. What's up? Beer Advocate has an A minus in the style. I'm gonna give it a notch above that. I'm gonna give it the A at nine, but it's not gonna get the A plus. It's not gonna get the outstanding. I gotta have some more info. Every beer that I've had from Green Flash has been excellent. I mean, I like everything that I've tasted. Gotta have the date on the bottle. If you don't want to put it on a label, put it on the the bottle, digitize it. It's got something on the bottle that means absolutely nothing to me. I don't have to get on the internet to get a code or a batch number or whatever. Put it on the bottle. How y'all get away with not putting that on the bottle, I don't know. I don't understand. And I'm clapping my gums, so I'm going to get up off this preacher soapbox thing I'm going on and say, it's a pretty damn good beer. Try it if you see it. Uh, but I'm not going to give it to 10 until they give me when it was made. i got to have that date, guys. So if you feel with me, give me some comments back on this. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. And We'll see you tomorrow in the next beer review. I promise not to preach too much, I hope. See you then.